Hello, hello. My name is Kim Sohuswapia, and I believe in innovation and doing things differently. This video has been prepared for you to guide you through some well-known concepts that will aid your studies and preparations towards exam. Due to COVID, we cannot meet in person to discuss. So I hope this video finds you well and helps you achieve excellence. Thank you. Today we'll be talking about dot product of vectors, the whole idea, what they entail, and how to apply it in questions. You understand? So remember, this is a GOE production. So let's start. So the outline for the lecture start with the definition of dot product, then we move to properties of dot products and we talk about projection which entails the scalar projection scalar projection and the vector projection so let's start so definition of dot products we have the algebraic definition and we have the geometric definition so let's go to algebraic definition so the algebraic definition of dot products it just deals with the sum of the products of the individual components that form what the two vectors that is so for let's look at this formula this formula a dot b is equal to i is equal to one summing it up to n a i b i you understand so what it means is that we take so let's use one so here will be a1 and b1 you understand so it means that this will multiply this a1 will multiply b1 plus a2 will multiply b2 that's shown here plus a3 will multiply b3 plus a4 will multiply b4 till a n multiplying b n so that's how it works so we take the individual components so those of in the position of i so let's take 3d vector 3d vector is represented with i g and k so it means that for the two vectors you multiply the i and i values plus the g and g values plus the k and k values so that's what this algebraic formula means so we are just summing it so a1 will multiply b1 plus a2 will multiply b2 till the end so let's take an example so let's take the vector negative one two four and another vector two three four so let me change the ink so this will be a1 this will be a1 this will be a this will be a3 and this will be b1 this will be b2 this will be 3 this representing the vector b and this representing with the vector a you understand so this is how it works a1 a1 will multiply a1 will multiply b1 you understand so negative one multiplying what two plus a2 will multiply b2 which is what two multiplying three plus a3 will multiply b3 which is what four multiplying four you understand so in the end it will be minus two plus 6 plus 16 you understand which is what 20 another example where we are having 3d vector maybe 2i plus 3g plus 5k and we have to dot this with 4i plus 3 key you understand so let me change the ink here so a1 so the i will multiply the i 
the G will multiply the G and the K will multiply the K. You understand? So this one, it will be 2 multiplying 4 goes I for vector A is what? 2 has coefficient of 2 or a magnitude of 2 and I for vector B has a magnitude of 4. So we multiply them plus only A has a G value. K, B has none. So we represent that with 0 plus this K value will multiply this K value which is 5 multiplying with 3. So in the end it will, it will be 8 plus 0 plus 15 which is what? 23. You understand? So let's move on. So here we are talking about the geometric definition. So the geometric definition, this is how it works, is given by this formula which you have to take note. Mag the bar A bar means magnitude of A. The bar B bar means magnitude of what B. You understand? And this, this is the diagram. So theta is what? The angle between these two vectors, A and B. You understand? And these are points. So OB and O. You understand so if you want the dot product a dot b will be equal to the magnitude of a multiplying the magnitude of b cos theta you understand and this formula here is for finding the magnitude you understand so the magnitude is root of a1 squared plus a2 squared plus dot dot till a n squared you understand so that's the geometric definition this formula you have to keep it so let's take an example so in this example they have given us magnitude of a to be 4 magnitude of b to be 6 and magnitude of theta to be what pi over 3 so with that we just quote the formula you understand so the magnitude of a is what 4 magnitude of b is 6 then cos of the angle between them which is what pi on 3 so your final answer will be 12 so let's use let's look at the properties so the properties the first one if you dot a vector by itself so let's take a to be equal to a1 plus a1 a2 a3 if you dot it with itself, you'll be getting a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared, which is the same as finding the squared of the magnitude of a. You see, if a's value were the way a1, a2, a3, so the magnitude will have the root of a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared. If you square it, you get the first value we had. You understand? So that's how the first one is proven. So the second one is commutative, the commutative property of dot product. This is the commutative. So a dot b is the same as what b dot a, irrespective of the one that comes first, it still give you the same value. And this one is the associativity property of dot product. So a dot into bracket b plus c is the same as a dot b plus a dot c. And anytime the first property, anytime you dot zero with a particular vector, the end is what zero. You understand? And this is the scalar multiplication property. You understand? A value c, a constant c multiplying a that dot b is the same as the constant c multiplying the dot of a and b and is the same as a dot the constant c multiplying the vector b you understand and the last one a dot b is zero anytime you have a dot b is zero it means that what a and b are what perpendicular so they are perpendicular so this a and b will be here you understand b and a forming 90 degrees with each other so let's continue so we have projection of vectors we have the scalar projection and the vector projection so let's talk about the scalar projection so the scalar projection 
is about projecting the vector e you understand projecting the vector e e on the vector b you understand so i've shown with the red lines to show the projection and this orange line will depict the length of a that was projected onto b you understand and this the drawing here is just to represent like a light source so in actual sense it's like we are casting a shadow of this a let's assume it's like a bar you understand on b you get me so the length of this is what we call the scalar projection of what a on b so from that this side to this side that's what we call the scalar projection and this is the formula so the formula is the magnitude of a cos theta is equal to, to a dot b over b you understand so that is the formula a dot b over b and we can further simplify it we know that what a we know that b over magnitude of b is what the unit vector of b you get me so that's what we have represented here so we have changed this to this and dot it with what a you understand and scalar projection of a on b is represented with this you understand so because a is the one we are projecting on b b will be down there and a will be here and the formula still holds as this formula still holds as this so let's move on to vector projection so vector projection is the same similar to scalar projection but with that one we want what a vector not what a unit not a scalar value so with that here we are also finding the vector projection of a on what b you understand so this is like a light source we are trying to project it down so the length of the vector a on b will be from here to here you understand that's what i've circled with the orange line over here so because a is what we are projecting on b b will be down there and a will be here and it's represented vector projection is proj p r o g and it's equal to a certain scalar multiplying the vector b we know that no matter what this the length this vector when we project it this vector a when we project it on what b it will just be a certain scalar multiplying what the vector b you understand so this is the scalar a dot b over the magnitude of b squared multiplying what the vector b that will give us what the vector projection of a on b you understand so let's go to it can also be represented in this way it can also be represented as a certain scalar which is a dot b over magnitude of b multiplying b over the magnitude multiplying b over the magnitude of b you understand so that is how we go about it b over the magnitude of b and we know that b over the magnitude of b is what the unit vector of b so basically that's what it's about thank you so you can leave your comments and your questions in the comment section thank you